Good afternoon, everyone. 2.02 p.m. Central Daylight Time here in Cypress, Texas. My name is Francis. I am your favorite amateur astronomer. And we're looking at Comet Ison taken on Halloween morning from New Mexico Skies Observatory, T11 Telescope, itelescope.net. Love it. New pictures. Nucleus is nice and tight. The coma, great. Let's go. We're going to have a great uh, Christmas present um, delivered to us, I believe, by this comet. Uh, a whole lot less doom and gloom uh, than we would like. Hmm. But we might get surprised in, in, in a few ways by this comet. Uh, we're, we're probably going to be dis surprised by the view. If the comet makes it around the sun, and I know that once the comet makes it around the sun, it's going to head toward the North Star, which is pretty much right out of the right out of the inner solar system, and its tail will splash across the sky. And uh, I'm 45 years old; I've never seen that before. Maybe I wasn't looking before, but uh, I've been paying attention recently, and I know that my friends uh, south of the equator have had the opportunity to see comets like we may going to see we may see this December people are asking I've seen it I want to see it where is it where is it if you're out at night after dinner time looking through uh, binoculars probably not seeing it because these pictures were taken at 5:30 a.m. in New Mexico and that is minus 7 UTC time so when it is half an hour after lunchtime in uh, the UK it is 5.30 a.m. in New Mexico and that's when these pictures are being snapped and in total I have 10 images I've only looked at three together and we'll, we'll blink these and you'll see these three go together oh I might as well point out uh, with T11 and my process the way I collect my coordinates and the way I deliver them to the telescope me and the telescope are not seeing centered uh, this is the second time I've used it and I, I, I think I'm doing something wrong just like I said UT, UTC time and I'm actually down to the five minutes it's not an hour or uh, every 15 minutes or I'm getting my coordinates every half an hour I'm breaking my coordinates down to five minute differences so somewhere in those five minutes I'm either 15 minutes ahead of time or I'm 15 minutes be behind but as you can see the comet is not totally centered but we can um, observe its movement in this space here and I can zoom in there and let's start it okay one two three one two three a composite picture one two three composite picture one two three so the composite picture is actually I, I'm, I try to line up the com comet you know when the great astro astrophotographers make a pretty picture everything's lined up everything's layered red green blue the reason why I don't do do color pictures I have yet to to manage and I don't have the software though I have good software and I just need to learn it better I don't know if I have those astrophotography software that people use and whatever whatever and um, I can take my three images and pull them up in the software and then ask it to make a composite and there's two ways that I have I can ask it to make a composite object matching right and that will take all the stars and they'll line them up and there I got a nice lined up star 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 stars lined up lined up lined up perfect stars but the comet doesn't line up right it li lined up in this one two three which is actually because th I took three pictures that was first picture that was second picture that was third picture and they ended up though the stars are all perfect the comet is stretched out it's all one comet everyone it's not three pieces of a comet it didn't break up right in front of our eyes this is one comet mm, poor composition but it works out well in this blink because we see one two three and then one two three and then we just, just zips back but again the composite is uh three different images layered over each other and i got that effect it creates a better uh, tail and coma you get more light and I'm gonna stop this let's go ahead and stop this because it's only so much fun let's just get it out and now I'm going to uh, start looking at let's go to the one in question right away hopefully we can find it right away 
okay and I'll fill up the screen okay so this is this is the actual picture where everything lines up except the comment doesn't line up perfectly on my Facebook you can see this uh, I've got it in uh, rainbow reversal and we're going to do it also here but all the star fields all the same and just that the comet is in three different places one two three and I and it's not centered in the middle of my picture which is the only thing that's upsetting to me but let's view it uh, and then we're gonna go quickly back to uh, and I'm trying to speak fast but I want to get a lot in uh, we're gonna look at the rainbow reversal which produces a really pretty picture uh, but again going into it we recognize what this picture actually is it's actually three images that are laid over each other and the comet is moved in each one but the field of view the star background is remained the same because um, it's actually in how the co the telescope is tracking the background too so uh, so that's the result for the reversal and I can zoom into that and I cut this picture out and I put it on my Facebook uh, Facebook friend Jack Neal happy birthday um, Chuck and Doris hello and then you hopefully you're enjoying these images so that's three and one got three one comet split up and that's the that's the return that it gave me I want to uh, go now to the one of the originals one of the three originals because it took three to make it and we can just look at this one and I will try to see if we can get what we're trying to see out of one of the real this is a luminance filter we'll bring it down and I'll let you all see what's going on if there's anything going on with it because we got more pictures I got seven more pictures and I have to move um, and that's about it uh, let's move to the other seven I guess I can leave the leave these here and these will be included in our uh, blink I think but let's I think I can get up in here and let's go up so this is and again this is my first time I haven't opened any of these I haven't opened any of them and they're gonna be one two three even farther four or five clicks here they are one two three four five six seven so I'm gonna just bring them up in order one flip it and see now I've got it nice and center so we're just gonna image flip file open we're gonna get right back in there boom 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 one two image flip I don't know why I get some feedback on this speaker or whatever shut that up okay flip we gotta get to three open one two three four four three image flip file open one two three four four first time I've seen these you get to see them for the first time with me file open one two three four four Did it come up there's four image flip what am I waiting for oh that didn't come out right image three image four somehow I messed that up I'm wasting time, wasting time. One, two, three, four, five. Image flip. I hope this is worth it. I know y'all are waiting now. I get comments all the time. Oh my god, I just wasted 25 minutes on I don't know what. Let's hope it's not like that. Hopefully, we'll get four minutes of viewing time vertically. File open, get to the seventh one and see I have no problem centering it here so it's somewhere in my process of operating T11 that I'm not able to center my I'm gonna get some support 
Get some support from my friend Pete Pulos down in Australia, Siding Spring Observatory. They've got their new sliding roof observatory there. Telescope.net, so I'll open this up. I'm going to start a blink. Blink. Let's just blink everything a little bit slower. Come on. Let's have, let's have a good result. Now, I think in my first pictures, the comet was pointed this away, so this one's pointed this way. I have to take the image and lay it over. But even then, I'm not quite sure which one's which. I think, I think, I don't know. Because one of the telescopes puts it out right and the other one doesn't put it out right, or you have to flip it. I always end up sending mine down to, okay, look. Ugh. Yuck. busy man I get calls all the time I'm sorry I'm not gonna answer because that wouldn't be I'm trying to look at my comment pictures please busy boy busy boy let's get this out of here see what we got see if I got any Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna get that other one. Cause I'm lost now. Probably lost all the way. Alright, I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm, we're getting um, the shots we want. I should probably stop. I could take those three out that we've already looked at. So I want to zoom in. So I'm going to cut one more picture out. all the way down there. Time is, I got one minute left. These are the new pictures of Comet Ison taken on Halloween morning. Three, four, five, six, and then it skips one and it comes back. Which I can send it for you and get it closer. Hope you all have a good day. Um, maybe I'll upload a second video. Probably.